Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to learn the divisibility rules of 2, 5 and 10. As the name suggests, divisibility rules or divisibility tests in maths helps us to check whether a number is divisible by another number without the actual method of division. Yes, without the actual method of division, we don't need to divide the number, but just looking at the number, we can find out whether that number would be divisible or not by that given number. So it makes our task easier and we can avoid lengthy calculations. Let's start with the divisibility rule of 2. But before that, let me tell you the place which is important for this rule. So let's say I have the number 357, 7 is at 1's place, 5 is at 10's place, 3 is at 100 place. So this place is very important, the 1's place or the unit's place. Now a number is divisible by 2 if it has any of the digits 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 in its ones place. Now for example if I take the same number 357 in my ones place there is 7 and 7 is not there in this list. That means this number is not divisible by 2. However if I add one more digit at the end any one digit like 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, any of these, say I add 6. So now it becomes 3576. Now this number would be divisible by 2. So you can make your own numbers and put any of these digits at the end, divide it and you will see that the number would be divisible by 2. Next, divisibility rule of 5. A number which has either 0 or 5 in its 1's place is divisible by 5. Now, for example, say 2505. If this is the number given and I want to find out whether it is divisible by 5 or not, I again have to check my 1's place. Since there is a 5 here, then that means this number is divisible by 5. We need to have either 0 or 5 in my 1's place. If I take one more number, say 1, 7, 5, 2, 8, 9, whatever digit if I want to add um, 2, 1, and at the end I just add a 0. So I can say that this number is divisible by 5 because there is a 0 at my 1's place. I don't have to actually divide it. So let's move on to the next one. Divisibility rule of 10. If a number has 0 in the 1's place, then it is divisible by 10. Say so for example, if I take say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it's quite a big number. At the end, just put a 0. So this number is divisible by 10 because there is a 0 at the end. So it's pretty simple for the divisibility rule of 10. If you just have a 0 at the end, any number you take, any number, uh, just have a 0 at the end, the number would be divisible by 10. So to summarize, a number is divisible by 2 if it has 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 at its units place. A number is divisible by 5 if it has either 0 or 5 at its 1's place. And a number is divisible by 10 if it has a 0 at its 1's place. I hope the rules are clear to you. If you like the video, do share with your friends. Thank you.